Hey there, tennis fans. I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. We're into the business end of the 2019 U.S. Open, and there is lots of tennis on the horizon to get excited about. But before we go there, let's take a moment to appreciate some of the brilliant moments of week one in New York. First, Taylor Townsend's net game. Can you believe it? Do you miss the days of serve and volley when dinosaurs roamed the earth and magnificently gifted players like John McEnroe, think Stefan Edberg, ruled the rankings? Then look no further than American Taylor Townsend. This 23-year-old stunned Simona Halep in the first round and did it by coming to the net 106 times. That's right, 106 trips to the net in just one tennis match. Number two, Pablo Andohar breaks through. After three elbow surgeries in a little over a year, Pablo has returned to the top of the game and he made a massive personal milestone in New York by reaching the round of 16 at a major for the first time on his 29th appearance. Well done, Pablo. Number three, Osaka leads the way. Now, Naomi Osaka didn't pull through her round of 16 encounter with Belinda Bencic, but the Japanese megastar did bring us the emotional high point of week one, when she showed maturity beyond her years and a great big heart by asking Coco Golf to address the Arthur Ashe crowd after she was beaten by Osaka in the third round. What has the experience been like and tonight playing against one of the very best in the world number one, Naomi? I mean, it was amazing. I mean, she did amazing, and I'm going to learn a lot from this match. Thank you, Naomi. I don't want people to think that I'm trying to take this moment away from her because she really deserves it, so thank you. Naomi. What a moment. We loved it. Number four, American Christiane. Now, she didn't make it to the quarterfinals, but she did set an open era record and become one of the most inspirational stories of week one, when she won her first match at a major over 11 years after she made her debut in 2008. The gap between her Grand Slam debut and her first win at a major sets an open era record. More important, Ahn's trip to the round of 16 will bring her into the top 100 for the very first time. Number five, Feliciano Lopez breaks his own record. Lopez is the legend that keeps on ticking. This year at the U.S. Open, Lopez completed his 71st consecutive Grand Slam main draw. The Spaniard reached the third round and pushed Daniel Medvedev to the brink in one of the most exciting matches of the week. Lopez is now six clear of the all-time record, which he broke last year at Wimbledon when he passed up Roger Federer with his 66th consecutive Grand Slam. And that's a look at our top five inspirational moments from week one. We'll see you next time.